how to optimize WordPress website for mobile phones step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you guys the step by step different measures and different tips and tricks that you can implement to make your WordPress website more mobile friendly. So this can include a lot of different orientations, paddings, and your title sizing, all of that. And I'm going to break it down step by step how you can customize it to fit mobile phones. This is going to be applicable for mobile phones as well as iOS or Android devices. That really doesn't matter which type of mobile phone it is. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you have to do is head on over to your WordPress dashboard. Once you're in your WordPress dashboard, you can go on ahead, click on your site and click on visit site over here, and you will be able to see what your website is looking like. This is a basic preview of our site, and I can click on customize on the top left to get started with customizing my site. This will open up the WordPress website builder, and you can get started with customizing your site over there. Now, keep in mind that you can also also customize your Elementor website that you're using Elementor primarily for. It really doesn't matter because even with Elementor templates, you want the ability to be able to customize pages. Now, keep in mind that this is the desktop preview. To get started with our mobile preview, you're going to click on the bottom left and it has three icons over here. So on the furthest right side of these icons is the mobile icon. This is what our site is going to look like on mobile devices. So we can get started with editing our template or our theme. Now, the first step is maybe for me to edit the basic toolbar. I can click on this edit icon over here and you can see the height of this. So I'm going to keep the height on the top and then I can click on design. Now, let's say I want to customize the design. I can do that from here. This is our primary header. Now, moving on to our next section, you can go into your second section over here and let's take a look at our navigation bar. So let's say I want to place it in the form of dots instead and i just wanted to have an outline instead of having you know a colored look let's say i want it to be an outline like this then i can click on the design and choose the size of the icon so there can be a really tiny one or a slightly larger icon i'm gonna make my icon slightly larger then on the top right you have your icon color which has been chosen from the global colors that we've added then i can also add my border color if i want let's say i want to add this as a border color now after you've done that you can add your border radius as well as a border width and you can also customize the size of your particular menu. Then you also have some basic spacing. Let's say on the right it is 20. Now I'm going to reduce it to 15 to make it slightly closer to the right. This will enable mobile users to be able to make the most out of their site. So if I was to increase it to 20, you will see how the button is moved towards the left and that can be super annoying for some users. Moving it to zero can be a bit too close to the edge. So keeping a safe distance like nine or 10 on the right is a great option. Now, after you've completed your spacing, you can go back and then go on to the next element, which might be the toggle button. Now we've already edited our toggle button, but step by step, you're going to move downwards. So you guys can see this was our basic header builder. So once we've gone over our header builder, we can go back and get started with customizing some of our other sections. We can click on page over here and choose our container layout. We can choose this type of layout as well. This is the normal or standard layout, and this will be the layout. Now you also have a sidebar layout as well as a default style. Now let's say we want to get started with our header position, which is going to be the for title. And then you can add your uh, basic information on the particular breadcrumbs as well. Now, moving on to our next section, we're going to go into our basic blog section. So you can go into your blogs and choose the layouts of your blogs as well. This is a essential part because when people are visiting your site, depending on what kind of site it is, it's going to be really difficult if your blogs are not structured properly for users to be able to see all of the items present within. 
Now moving on, let's go into sidebar and I want to choose this kind of sidebar style where it appears on the right side. Uh, it's a boxed sidebar. You also have some other options such as unboxed sidebars. As you're making your changes, you can click on publish on the top right of your toolbar on the left side of your screen simply because if you make any changes and they are not saved, you're going to lose a lot of your progress. So make sure that you are customizing and you're saving as you go. Now you can click on custom post types and you can set up your custom post types as well and you will be able to see some other options available for you now let's say i have the about page i can click on the about page over here and this will open up the about page that we have previously created now you guys can see this is our about page and let's say in the about page i want to maybe customize the header and i want it to be on the phone section let's remove our header as well and now the header is not available so it can be a great way on some of your pages like sign up pages or form pages to remove your basic header because people are going to be there to sign up anyways now after your header section you can go into your blog section or paid section to build your layout and let's say we want this kind of layout which is a default container style like this it looks most of your design styles are going to look pretty similar on your mobile devices however some things can be a great way to add more space to your mobile device setup because on mobile devices you have to optimize space because the visual element of your website is going to be reduced so you want what is most important to be as visually larger or as visually appealing or focusing as possible and that is how you can customize your wordpress website for, for mobile devices or mobile phones now after that you even have woocommerce options so you can go into your woocommerce pages which are going to be your product or shop pages and you can begin customizing that so if i go into the services pages over here and let's say i've added services uh, in my woocommerce so let's say i just added woocommerce plugin for selling services i can open my services section and you will see all of the options available so let's say i have this button over here we have these different types of services so i can go into the woocommerce section click on product catalog and i can choose how i want my catalog to appear and once i've completed my changes i can click on the top left and click on the exit button i'm going to publish all of my changes and once they have been published we can exit and we can now once more preview our website that it is how it is going to appear on our basic basic desktop version now if you click on edit with elementor on your website and you want to begin editing your wordpress website with elementor but you still want to do it for your mobile devices even that is possible so let's take a look at our elementor website so you will see over here this is the elementor website editor and on the bottom left of your toolbar you have your responsive mode so if you click on this and then click on the mobile portrait on the top you will see the mobile device version so from here you can start editing the same way so you can click on any section click on choose image and customize images you can also choose the width the height and the padding as we previously did for our wordpress website so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe